Hey everyone, Code here. Uh, recently I've been getting a lot of questions asking about starting out the game, um, what I do right at the beginning, you know, uh, where I send my stats right away, how I would send my stats for a certain class, whatever. Um, I'm just going to show you in this video, pretty much every class I make, I do the same thing to start out with. My preferred class that I always start with when I plan on making any sort of melee character is always the bandit. The bandit has a good amount of strength, good amount of endurance, and that's really what I look for right when I'm starting the game. If you're wanting a more agile class, some people will start out with the thief. I don't recommend this, just because of how low their endurance is. Alright, and for your gift, make sure you choose the master key. That's going to help you a lot in the beginning of the game, getting to um, areas that will let you get better gear. Um, I've got other guides showing some of those things that you can get when you have the master key. The master key used to be the only um, gift that wasn't obtainable during the game. In one of the previous patches they added it so now you can buy it from a merchant, but that isn't until quite a bit later in the game, so this is just the best thing to start with. Physique, um, it doesn't really matter, but usually I like to go with you know, either slim or very slim, just because you can kind of see more around you, and that that's going to actually be really helpful. If you're going with large, very large, don't know why you do that, but <laughs> if you are, it's going to be kind of a little bit harder to see, and in PvP as very slim, it just kind of feels better when you're maybe swinging behind them to, you know, get that back hit, or whatever, you know, so slim or very slim. Um, face, it really doesn't matter. I think I usually just go with the basic. I'll just go with short. Nah. Let's go with short. Um. Dark brown is fine. Alright, so once you get here, just go around and pick up all the items. Right here, you'll find humanity. If you run up this way, right her. If you talk to that guy, he'll let you join Covenant of the White. He will uh, sell you some miracles and stuff. As you come up here, you'll get uh, Soul of the Lost Undead. If you jump down here, there's going to be some chests. And, um, yeah, some helpful items. So, Homeward Bone, when you use that, it'll teleport you back to the last bonfire that you rested at. Morning Star and Talisman. It's not all that good of one though. And cracked, cracked, little, cracked red eye orb. That'll let you invade other players. Um, yeah. And Lloyd's talisman. If you throw this, I think it's mainly for PvP. At least that's what I've noticed it for. If you're in PvP and you throw it at someone and it hits them, they won't be able to use their SS flask to recover. So that's pretty helpful. It only be used if you're the invader though, because invaders can't use us as flasks. Alright, so just kind of be careful when you're going through here. Um, these guys are not easy to kill, so you're gonna have to go fast. Let's see. Alright, get this, and there's a big one right behind you. Whoa! Alright, so this, these are just some helpful items. Um, different kind of weapons and stuff that you can get. You won't be able to equip them right away because um, they have higher stat requirements. Alright, so you got a couple weapons there. Now this one, I have not seen many people know about this. So if you come through here. Uh, yeah, come through here. Cross over right behind here. 
Soul of the Lost and Oh sweet Jesus! Whoa! Alright, run up these stairs. Just kinda follow the path to the left. And there will be another item. Soul of Lost Undead. Alright, now hurry back. Run back to the bonfire so the skeletons reset and they'll stop chasing you. Because you don't want them chasing you forever. Alright, so there's another item over here. The Ring of Sacrifice. Or Ring of Rare Sacrifice. Something like that. So pretty much what it'll do is when you die, it'll make it so you don't lose your souls or any of that stuff. I don't think you'll even lose your humanity. You'll just be sent back to the bonfire and the ring will break. So just kind of get a run jump across here. Kind of scale across these walls. Careful because they're very thin. Pick these up. Alright, and the ring of sacrifice. There you go. And later on in the game there will be a merchant here. I believe it happens after you kill the gaping dragon. Alright, so go back to the bonfire. You can either just do the run jump the same the same way you came, or you can use one of your homeward bones. Either way is fine. Alright. And now you've got some souls, homeward bones, all that kind of stuff. Um, go ahead and use the souls. It's kind of nice to get it. A little bit of soul bonus right at the beginning. Now for every character I make, I always try to get their endurance to 20. That was a fail. I always try to get their endurance to 20 before doing anything else. Just because, um, you, you really need endurance. You have to be able to block, which takes endurance. You have to be able to block, then hit. Um, that's what you'll be doing with the bandit most of the time. Just block, hit. Um... Dodging, all that stuff, running, it, it's really important. Um, another reason I prefer the bandit, more endurance, move a little bit faster. It's just a lot better. Alright, so I can get out to 17 right now. That's pretty good. Alright, 17. Alright. And just a side note. If you have a weapon, let's say this weapon, Zwei Handers, Zwei Handers, something like that. It requires 24 strength and 10 dexterity. Um, I'm not sure how much that would be, but pretty much you can have, uh, I'm, I'm gonna guess it's like anywhere around 18 strength, maybe eight dexterity, and you could hold it in two hands and still be able to wield it. Um, I don't have nearly enough, but yeah. And keep this in mind, even if you don't have that weapon out, so like see I have my battle axe right now, have that out, but I have this still equipped on my second hand. It will um, increase your equipment load, so keep that in mind. You want to keep your equipment load about 50% of its max. Anything over 50%, it'll make you run really slow. And this is how the warrior and knight kind of run, and I hate it so much because you just can't go anywhere. <laughs> and as you run, it seems to take up more stamina. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but yeah, I like this. So you've got those items. So make sure you spend all your souls. Um, I'm going to show you how to get a Firekeeper soul. And this way is a little bit riskier. If you're not comfortable with that, um, it's fine. You don't have to do that. You can just skip to the next part of the guide. Um, this guy right here, once you get your Firekeeper soul, come back to her. Or, yeah, to her. Quick reinforce SS Flask, and it'll add a plus one to your SS Flask. That doesn't mean that you'll have 11. It means that you'll still have 10. But it, it'll say SS Flask plus one, and it will heal, I'm not sure how much more, but it'll heal a good amount more. And so you can do that with all the Firekeeper Souls that you find. Just come down here, stand on the circle in the center. And again, there's some items down here. If you drop right here, there's some souls. Nameless Soldier. Um, right here there's another staircase that leads up. You can find um, the Crimson Robes and 
the tin banishment catalyst if you go up there I have a guide on that so click above in the top right corner and you, I get, it'll take you to that guide if you click in the upper left it'll take you to a guide showing you how to get a store of straight sword and the dragon crest shield both guides will talk about what each of those things are good for alright so down here there's a merchant he'll just sell some of the beginner spells and catalysts and that stuff um, if you run all the way over here out of this pathway there's you got an stick alright and crush this thing right here that would be an item whoopsie transient curse alright now you don't have to use it, but um, what it'll do is it'll let you attack, or let you hit the ghosts that you're about to see. Um, I don't know. It might be better just to run right through. I guess we'll find out. Haven't done this in a while. Let's see. So I might as well. Let's give it a go. Name that reference. Leroy Jenkins. T. Look at my souls. Alright, you're gonna, you're gonna face two ghosts right here. Try not to fall off. That's how I died the first time. And you got a fire keeper. Oh my gosh! Oh, frickin' frick. Frickin' mother frickin'. You whore! And I'm dead. Shut up, bitch. Alright, well, you only lost 700 ish souls. Um, yeah, I think it's worth it. Because you get this Firekeeper Soul and it gives you a bonus on your SS Flask. And that's just kind of good to start out with. Um, yeah. You might be able to, as soon as you get the Firekeeper Soul, um, use your Homeward Bone real fast and teleport back. But it's, it wasn't too many souls. I mean, I know it is the beginning of the game, so it's kind of important. But I think it's completely worth it to get the Firekeeper Soul. So once you have that, run back down here. Talk to this lady. Reinforce SS Flask, click yes. SS Flask reinforced. And at the bottom you'll see that it has plus one now. That um means it's stronger, so it'll heal more. Alright, so that's showing some of the items and stuff that you can get right at the beginning. Um I do have other guides showing more stuff at the beginning of the game. These were just I just wanted to make this to show kind of the more basic items, not necessarily class specific items. So if you want to see those, um, I'll put a, I'll put a link to them in the description. So yeah, you can check those out. All right, now I'm going to show you how to parry and how to efficiently backstab. I see a lot of newer players. I get a lot of newer players sometimes asking me how I backstab so easily. I make it look easy, kind of you know that stuff. So pretty much, when you're here. Um, just walk behind him. Fail. Okay, so just walk behind him. You want to be pretty much directly behind him. And the biggest thing is, now this took me a while to figure out. I don't know why I didn't realize this. If you're holding up your shield, you cannot do a backstab. So make sure you you let off L1 so you're not blocking, and then you go in for the backstab. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to parry. Pairing will be easier with a different kind of weapon, probably a different kind of shield. It'll have a little bit more of a parry, um, what, what can I call it? Like a parry, freaking a parry window, how about that? So. That was a fail. 
All right, so pretty much right as they raise their weapon, just click uh, L2 and then R1. Parries do a lot of damage. They do more than backstabs. Um, they're usually harder to execute. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope this guide helped. If it did help, though, don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe. If you have any suggestions for new guys, just leave a comment below.